Hello guys, this is an unboxing of the CEM70 Nook. Alright, here we go. Trusty ruler to open it. <laughs> it's coming double boxed. Nook or EC model unboxing, so I thought I'd do one. Comes in a nice aluminum case. There you go, kind of see it. Looks like it's some saran wrap. Like inside, a little bit of saran wrap. There we go. And then you got a warning here. Looks like it just says read. Included quick setup guide before taking the mount out of the case. And Read the included QSG before assembly. Read online full manual. Warm system damage due to improper gear mesh slippage will not be covered by warranty. And it looks like, let's see what kind of cord you get here. Uh, looks like this is your key for your hand controller. Or I say key, cord for hand controller and keys for the box. And then a uh, USB cable for controlling the mount. And then your PE curve measured by encoder. And it looks like it's about 0 0.2315 is what it's saying. For, for this one. And here's your counterweight bar. It's pretty hefty. 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 And here's the remote. And so I was a little worried about this, but I'm glad they provided this cable. Thank you, iOptron, because I didn't want to have to worry about it. Good size, good length, but this is your. Um, I'm guessing this is the Ethernet cable for your Nook, which is nice to have because uh, I don't like having long cables, and it will fit perfectly between the Nook and the the mount. I don't like having lots of cables hanging around, and this looks like another USB cable uh, for the controlling the mount. And then it looks like here's a power cable for the Nook 2, probably perfect length too, so you can, can connect it straight to your Nook. Uh, thank you. A little worried I was going to buy those separately. And then, kind of like those batteries not included commercials, but not in this case. And then uh, here's a power cable for. For plugging into the wall, I won't be using this much, but in case if I ever have a pier in my own observatory, then I'll use this. So the main reason I got this is because I do portable astronomy more, and um, I would get try and get a bigger mount, like the 120 or something, but uh, the weight's starting to add up quite a bit when you're plugging this stuff around, so let's hope that the 70 can handle it. 
and let's pull the, the mount out. chairs had better days so yeah you can see um, here's the land port for the let me bring it up closer actually this is the, the land port right here for the the ethernet there's the power and then this is where the nook bolts on under here. I have a nook right here. And there's like a mounting plate that came with this, but it will go right here. Like that, and bolt on with a couple screws. And then I'll be able to swivel back and forth and I can plug in directly for the cables and I have a lot of connection issues with using SkyX and stuff, I don't know. Um, some people are using SGP and I don't know, like if you drop a cable or something in the sand, like that's the problems I, I tend to get into. So if I can plug into everything up here and not have to worry about cables dragging or getting dirty or, or whatever. Yeah, so that's what all that's come into the box, uh, this is where you control the mount and then you have a couple USB 2.0 ports that will actually, I think, communicate through this one that's hooked into the Nook or you can plug in directly to the Nook which is uh, what I'm going to do and then you have some more, you have an I port here and three more power cables if, I'm, if I don't, if I remember right, I think this is supplied by the the main port on the bottom down here. I'll get to that. So one of them's okay. All right. So here's an ST4 cable. That's where like you can plug in your guide camera, and then there's the HVX port, and then there's the main power port to power the mount, and then here's the land port. For, uh, for your Nook and then this is for your Nook power and then this is for your accessory power like I said up here I think these up here uh, on the head right here these are powered by accessory power right there and then this the side one is powered by the main one down here on the bottom right there so I might not even power uh, the accessories because right there because I'll probably have enough power ports and be just less cables to have to worry about plugging in but yeah I'm excited to test this out we'll see how it goes I'll try and make a couple videos I'm not the best videographer I'm just kind of like an average guy so hopefully it's not too dry GPS that's another reason why I get this one it just has a lot of features on it that I like for portable astronomy and I'm excited to test it out and then there's a tripe here right here it goes with it I guess I should have put it on there 